Hello hey, folks, tonight I'm doing a tutorial on oil and water for photography. I was I was telling the guys that I would do a image, take an image of how I set up, but instead I decided to do a tutorial. Um, tutorial simple, basic things in that you have inside your house, could be anything. Um, in my case it was this, uh, it was two shoe boxes. A pirate dish, a uh, desk lamp, some clothing that belong to my baby girl for color at the bottom, some water inside of the actual pirate dish, some oil that I use to squirt, uh, I use a syringe to squirt the oil in, um, something to stir up the oil with, which is um, a plastic fork, maybe tastefully. Um, and my camera on the tripod. Now I didn't use my camera on the tripod the last time because um, obviously I wasn't doing a tutorial but since I'm using my hand here to hold this camera so that I could show you exactly what was going on I decided to mount it up on the tripod. So first thing first um, the last time I did it I did my shot in aperture priority and got some nice images but th this time around I decided again try a bit of the um, try in my own mode with a, to see if what sort of images they come up with now my settings on the camera I have right now is ISO 200 um, at f11 I might change the ISO probably to get a little more sharpness if anything um, I probably change the shutter speed. But right now I got the shutter speed at one one hundred. I may probably go lower it. Who knows? Um, let's stir up the water ready to get some to get the images some um, some bubbles or circles as you have seen in the last images that I produced. And now I'm kind of like focusing in on the shot. Just waiting for the water to start moving a bit. I have just stirred up. So let's see if we can get this in nice and sharp. I think that's as sharp as I get it. Now, I, the pirate dish got design on the center, so it don't make a big difference if it got design on the center. And you could adjust the tri tripod to suit. And I could just take one image here. See what you get. Okay, let me review that image. Oh, that's not bad, just a little too dark. So I could just either drop the shutter speed a bit. Maybe drop it to 150 for the second. Let's see what I uh, give me. Shutter speed is a little, a little slower. I want the water to start moving though. Now the last time I, I did this I use um I use a I use a macro filter. Uh, let me see. Again some. Nice. It's a nice um, tone and type of stuff. And the last, let me check the last few images there. Okay. Uh, it might not look clear on the actual bar here. Um, 
the back of the LCD but just to give an idea, a rough idea of what I did to get the images you know, some circles that would form um, probably some part you could crop you know to get a better look at things or you could pick up another focus point just move the tripod a bit blend the colors some more So this is all these these shots, these images here. You can see I can drop the the um I could probably let me just bump up the ISO a bit by you can see ISO 1400. Let me see what's our shot I get. Focus point and change so color might be a little brighter. So you can always play. I mean, there's plenty of options. You see, and then see, so you've got plenty of options to choose from. So basically, that's that's how I did my. That's how I did my oil in the water shot. So with these images now, I can go and play with them now to see what I can get out of them. But like I said, the setup don't have to be near fancy. Um, just and simple, and just go with, go with it, have fun, play with it. Basically, that's what I did, and I enjoyed it so much that I plan to attack another project for tomorrow um, abstract this abstract really really bringing out fun inside of me and I and I enjoying it so until then I'm looking forward to see some of your images right Niaz cool so until then until tomorrow peace